Hey, hey everybody, Z Garcia here. Today we're going to be unboxing Enola Holmes, Finder of Lost Souls, the board game. This is from Gale Force 9, of course with Legendary, the, the studio that made the movie. Uh, 45 minutes, 2-4 to four players, ages 14 and up. And it is a very strange box, it's an extremely thin box. I mean, like, you know, two fingers wide, thin, like less than that even. It's very thin. So, let's take a look at what's going on on the back here. Always looking for patterns, patterns within patterns, it says. We've got to look at the board here. The game is afoot, and now you know the homes, I'm on the case. Now, where to begin? Uh, I'm the finder of lost souls, and there's a lost soul to be found. The criminal has left clues, a cipher in the language of flowers scattered across London. If only I can solve the puzzles to find them. Detection is not a simple game, but with the help of my extraordinary brother Sherlock and a certain nincompoop, I'll see the truth soon enough. So it says Enola Holmes is an all-against-one cooperative game where the detectives travel around London solving puzzles to gain the clues that will fuel their deductions. Can you deduce the crime before the criminal wins? Interesting, an all-versus-one game. And Enola Holmes, if you're not familiar with that, is a film in which Enola Holmes here is the protagonist. That is uh, oh, Spider-Man, right? No. Uh, that is Sherlock Holmes. Uh, and um, you can catch it on Netflix. All right, so let's take a look. There we go. There's our contents, nothing on the inside of the lid. We'll just set that aside. We've got ourselves a rule book here with all of the contents, setting up Okay, playing the game, a lot happening there. There's a lot happening, I think, in this game. It's not a very, I don't think it's a particularly simple game. I really hope there's not a lot of screen caps. That would be annoying. I don't like that in games, but you know, I get it. It's in Noah Holmes. All right. And then a turn summary on the back. Cool. Then in here we've got a quick start rule book, just to, I guess, get going quickly. All right, I like that. You had the setup. Over here we've got our board with all, all these locations, it looks like, and all the flower cards at the top. Playing the game. This is the quick start, huh? Wow. All right, and... So more over here. It looks like there's going to be a lot of screen caps. I was foolish to hope otherwise. And then the detectives even have a pad for deductions, it looks like. All right. Well, it looks like there's a lot happening, and it makes sense. If you're going to make an Enola Holmes uh, board game, it's probably going to have some sort of deduction in it. So these are all the components. We'll come back to those in just one second. I want to take a look at the, the board here. We've got here... The tea rooms, all those spots at the top, and then different locations around Enola's world, of course. So there we go. That's the board. Single fold board. Then in here we've got these uh, tokens for the characters, I assume. Like so. Pretty good. They punch out cleanly. Very nice. Got some standees right there for them. We've got those detectives' uh, notebook, so we can take some notes. They are single-sided. There's not that many, unfortunately, but, you know, it's a pretty easy thing to replicate. I don't know if there's anything here I'm not supposed to be looking at, unfortunately, so I need to be careful with that. I don't think so, but... All right, let's take a look. Yeah, it just looks like cards and then some symbols. And then down here we've got these little cards with the flowers and the crimes. So let's take a look at some of those. Obviously without knowing how to play the game. And I'm not going to figure this out right now because there's a lot. I'm a little lost as to what I'm looking at. But, you know, it's an unboxing. So here we go. Very nice. Card quality on these is good. 
they're nice and thick, but they shuffle well. You know, not slabs of cardboard either. So that's good. I like that. The insert, I'm not so sure about. These things are going to go flying everywhere in here. We've got the clue cards, which are the same thing. So obviously those two will be tied together. And then we've got in here on the case cards. Take a look at that. And again, as far as I can tell, this is not going to have any spoilers or anything because it's an all versus one game, which is, you know, repeatable. So obviously the, uh, the answer will be just randomly different each, each time. So we've got a, on the case cards here where you'll play these. Move a detective to an unoccupied location, then draw a card with the bicycle, some symbols. Uh, choose a det <laughs> okay. Let's keep. Choose a detective. Add all of one talent from their detect. Add all of one talent from their detective card. Add one to any talent. A lot of screen caps, though. If you're not a fan of screen caps, good luck. Um, all right, there we go. So some player cards. It looks like. And then these making trouble cards maybe are for the uh, the one in the all versus one. So we'll check that out. And then we're good. That's pretty much everything we can look at here. Like I said, it's uh, it seems like it has quite a bit happening, so it's a little hard to puzzle out, if you'll pardon the uh, the pun. All right, good, good. These also just have the symbols and some abilities. Discard a random card at random from each detective's hand. So yeah, these are definitely going to be the ones for the cards that the one versus all is using to mess with the players. Draw two making trouble cards, then play a making trouble card, which are these. I like that. Okay. Cancel all on the case talents cards. Huh. Cool. Yeah, I like the card play. Sounds interesting enough. These two things kind of going at each other. And then over here we've got, I'm assuming, character cards, which are the, they have the built-in symbols that some of those cards would add, some of these would add. So those are your built-in ones. And these, of course, being all, oh, and this is the criminal. So I guess you shuffle this up. Somebody gets criminal. The other players have whoever they are. Nice. And then over here, um, I don't know. These look like they sit on something else. Do these sit on the characters? No. No. I can't tell. Is it supposed to be this? I'm not sure. It's a puzzle. It's a mystery. All right, well, I'm sure it'll make sense once the game is afoot. <laughs> oh, yes, folks, that's going to do it for our look at Enola Holmes, Finder of Lost Souls. There you go, skinny little box, possibly deep gameplay. But that's going to do it for right now, folks. Thanks very much for checking out this unboxing with me. We'll see you on the next one. Go uh, solve some puzzles.